find the sum of the arithmetic series. Okay, so if we look at our uh, formula, what we have, Sn is equal to n over 2. They want Sn, so we're going to need all the variables on the side. Okay, which is 2a plus n minus 1 d. Now, if I consider all of my variables here, I do not have n. I do not know how many terms there are in the sequence. So many people go and say, okay, now here's 1, here's 2, here's 3, and there's 4. Four terms in the sequence. But that's not true. This little dot, dot, dot tells me something's happening in between there. I don't know what that is. So there's a number of terms that's omitted that's not written down. So I do not have n. Do I have my first term? Oh, of course, I've got my first term. is 12 first term. Do I have my constant difference? Well, let's just see if it is a constant difference. 7 minus 12 gives me negative 5. 2 minus 7 gives me negative 5 again. So yes, I do have my constant difference d, but I'm, my term number is still unknown. But what we do have is the last term. So I could have used this formula, n over 2 times my first term plus my last term and I would get exactly the same answer. However, we still don't have n. I don't need my constant difference in this one but I still don't have n. So I need to calculate n but what I do know is I know the nth term. In other words, I do know that tn which is when I take my first term a plus n minus 1 d this answer gives me negative 43. So let's just substitute in the information that we have. 12 is my first term. I don't have n. I'm going to solve n just now. My constant difference is negative 5 is equal to negative 43. And now if we solve for n, we get n minus 1. Let me do it like this. Okay. Let's do it like this. On the right hand side, let's subtract 12 and let's subtract 12 on the left hand and the right hand side. Okay, so that I'm left with n minus 1 times negative 5 is equal to negative 55. Now let's divide by the negative 5. Divide by negative 5, which leaves me with n minus 1 is equal to 11. Okay, now guys, if at this point you get negative answer, <coughs> I apologize. If you get a negative answer, you know you are on the wrong track. Term numbers can't be negative. But if I subtract 1 from n, I get 11, so it should be 12, because 12 minus 1 gives me 11. So there we got n, and as soon as I have n, I can continue to substitute in my formula. So I've got 12 divided by 2, my first term is 12, my last term is negative 43, and I get uh, 6 times, and in here what do we get? Uh, 12 minus 43 gives me negative uh, 31, is it? Negative 31. And that looks like negative 186. Cool. Again, if I'm going too fast, that's the nice thing about the video. You can pause me. You can rewind me. Okay, so do that if I went too fast. Cool. But I am continuing to the next question or another example. We must do, they give us that the sum of, and then they give us the sum of that thing, and they give us, they tell us the sum adds up to 1,600. And now they ask us how many terms are there. So, we know our formula. Well, first of all, we don't really know it's an arithmetic sequence. So we first need to just confirm that it is. So in other words, I just find my constant difference. Negative 2 minus minus 8, so negative 2 plus 8 gives me a 6. Okay, 4 minus minus 2 is plus 2, that also gives me 6. Constant difference, which means if I'm going to add this thing up, I am using this sequence. There we go. 
and which values do we have? Actually, we do have the sum of the n terms. They gave that to us as 1,600. Okay. Do we have the number of terms? No, we don't. We do have a, though, the first term, negative 8. Usually we have that one at least. And we do have a, a d, the constant difference. We've just calculated it. So what we have is an equation. And in our equation, let's put it in white, we have, oh, in white, we, e, white, we have it, an unknown. But there's just a single unknown. If I have one unknown in an equation, I just substitute and solve. Okay, so let's substitute my, the total of this whole thing, the sum of the thing is 1,600. Okay, I don't know what n is, so n over 2. I know what a is, is negative 8. I don't know what n is, still not, otherwise it would be done. Okay. And there we go, we just need to solve it. Get n on its own. Okay, now here you see a very peculiar thing. We see that this n is going to multiply in. Okay. And when it does multiply in, in other words, simplify the right-hand side, get rid of that bracket, um, we're going to have an n square here, which means it's a quadratic equation. When we have a quadratic equation, we know there's two solutions. But let's see. Okay, if I have half an n and it multiplies here, that 2 and that 2 will cancel. Um, not really cancel. Remember, they divide to give me 1. So I get negative 8n. Okay, when I multiply it in to the last term, okay, I see uh, the 2 divides into itself once and into 6 3 times. So I've got plus 3n and n minus 1. Okay, now as I see here, here I'm going to get that square. So what I'm going to do is take everything to the one side so that it's equal to 0 I've got 3n squared, then I've got minus 8n, minus 3n, so that 3 multiplied by that negative 1 will give me negative 11n, and the 16 will come over to this side, negative, I mean the 1600, negative 1600. And I suppose at this point you can try and get two brackets, but uh, it's, it's not going to be that easy. I'm going to use the formula. And the formula is negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, negative b is negative 11, which just gives me 11. Plus and minus the square root b squared is 121. This is b, remember. That is a. That is c. Minus 4 times a is 4 times 12. Okay, 4 times 12 multiplied by negative 16, okay, so 100, which gives me minus, hmm, oh no, plus 19200. I'll confess, I use a calculator, okay, well, for that one. And then 2 times A, which will give me 6. Now, I am uh, qu quite confident that this number inside the square root will have a perfect square. And I am correct. Again, I'll confess, I used the calculator. So I get 11 plus minus this square root answer simplifies to 139. 139 over 6. Okay, so here I can have one of two answers. I can either have 25, and that's when I add them, so either n is 25, or n is, and here we go, use the calculator again, 139 divided by 6, okay, 21, negative 21 and a third, okay, ridiculous, okay, this is absurd, this is nonsense, 
Okay, nonsense. It makes no sense. You cannot have negative number of terms. Need uh, regardless, even if the even if there was a uh, a fraction, that's impossible. We can't have fraction answers. So let's just confirm that answer. Eleven minus one thirty nine divided by oh, delete divided by six. Yes. No, that is definitely a nonsense answer. So how many terms are there? There uh, are 25 terms. Okay.